Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing very, very well. This is actually a bit of a spontaneous filming day for me today. I hadn't planned to film this video today, but Tommy's actually just headed out for a job all day and I'm kind of on a maternity leave right now. I'm actually not doing anything day to day. I've got like little bits of content here and there to be doing, but day to day I'm literally as free as a bird. I just felt like today might be a good opportunity to sit down and have a little chat with you all about my third trimester and just catch you guys up, answer your questions. I'm going to keep this very relaxed. I've not prepped for it. I literally put the question box on my story about five minutes ago and I'm just going to literally look through them, see which ones I want to answer. Makeup at this stage for me is not a thing. Washing my hair, it's not a thing. I mean, to be fair, that's never really a thing in my life. Like, I'm not, you know, you guys know me. Like, I just... This is how I like, I like to live. I know this isn't interesting for everybody, um, but I actually still enjoyed watching videos like this when I wasn't pregnant, of like when I was watching my favorite YouTubers and stuff. Apologies, first of all, if I get very out of breath whilst talking, because even right now I've just filmed the introduction, I'm like, <laughs> literally. The out of breathness is not normal. It's not normal, but we'll get into that. I'm just gonna get up and turn the cat's water fountain off because that is a very distracting noise for me. It makes me need a wee more than I actually already do day to day, which is kind of impossible actually. So first question that's popped up, how are you feeling generally? So how am I feeling generally through my third trimester? Amazingly, I still feel great. Um, I'm not going to sit here and say that a lot hasn't changed in my third trimester. I think I had such an incredible smooth journey through my whole entire pregnancy so far that I kind of hadn't really thought about how things were going to change to my body and day-to-day -day living when I became much more heavily pregnant. Mentally and physically though, I do still feel absolutely amazing. I feel really positive. I feel really happy. I feel in good health. I just can't believe, honestly, how much of an incredible, smooth journey I've been blessed with in this pregnancy. Like, it has been... I can't get over it. I literally can't get over it. Like, I, I would do it over all over again in a heartbeat. Go away! Go away! Go away! Shoo! 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 Sorry, our neighbour has this cat, and it always comes to the back doors and tries to scare Eggy and Bread, and... The cat therapist actually believes, shoo! Not that anyone asked, but the cat therapist actually believes that that cat is the reason why Eggie and Brad have so many accidents by the back door because she believes they're like marking their territory against that cat. Interesting. But yeah, I don't like to go on about it too much, the fact that I've had such an incredible smooth journey with my pregnancy um, because I know that's not the case for a lot of women through pregnancy. But the only way I can describe it is that I feel like my body was literally made to grow a child. I have never felt more natural and like my body has never felt, I just, I can't explain it. I just feel like my body was made to do this. Like I was built to grow a child. <laughs> like it's been that smooth and amazing and sounds so, I don't want to sound big headed, but it's been so easy, this journey, that I feel like my body must have just been ready to do this all along. Like it must have been like, okay, can I have a child to grow now? Like it's like it was always calling for this, but yeah. Also, I probably should just clarify, um, I know I've not been like specific with dates and due dates and <clears throat> everything, but I, I'm not obviously at the very end of my third trimester. I have done most of it. Um, I literally only have a couple of weeks left now until... I'm going to be giving birth, like, it's crazy. I'm still not going to be specific about dates and due dates. I've been asked, like, that's literally my most asked question is, what's your due date? Probably should have just shared it from the start because it really is not a big deal and I'm not, I don't know why I've kind of hid it this whole time, but I just, I don't know, I just wanted to kind of keep at least, like, one thing to myself. Have you got any new cravings? Okay, I'll have to think about this one. I would say I actually do have a couple of new cravings. I've kind of sailed through my whole pregnancy not having had really any major cravings. I, like I've said, the whole way through, I've craved everything. Anything that I've wanted to eat, I've eaten. I have not restricted myself at all. A lot of you guys have asked as well, like, have you calorie counted? Have you watched what you ate through pregnancy? The straight up answer to that is no, I absolutely have not. In terms of new cravings, a major one for me has been eating ice. I have actually got a cup down here with the remnants of some ice in. I will just literally fill up tumbler glasses like this just full of ice to the very top and I would just sit there and eat ice cubes whilst Tommy and I are watching a film whilst I'm just sat 
on the sofa doing nothing like i will just constantly be eating ice that's been a massive one for me it doesn't like it doesn't have a new taste or anything i just i've oh shh Oh, I've just spilled that on the floor. Lovely. I really like the texture in my mouth and that cold feeling in my mouth. That's been amazing. I am most definitely, as well, to, in the last few weeks, I've been craving really, really sweet things and I've been very hungry. I was reading my Pregnancy Plus app that from this point onwards, the baby gains one pound basically every single week. Um, from sort of like when the baby hits five pounds, from that point, every single week they will gain a pound. So the whole way through your pregnancy, your baby has only got up to five pounds, but then in the last couple of weeks, it's gaining a pound every single week, which would explain why my hunger has come back because obviously at the start when the baby was doing loads of rapid growing i was absolutely ravenous every single day like the hunger was obscene and now i feel like baby girl's doing so much more growing again um the hunger has come straight back also apologies for i'm using natural light so sorry if the light keeps changing through this video yeah i've been hungry for unhealthy foods um sweet stuff chocolate sweets um, not so much like crisps and savoury stuff, but yeah, just like anything from the sweet cupboard I've been wanting to, wanting to devour. In the first trimester and second trimester, I didn't fancy chocolate at all. But through the third trimester, I have like my love for chocolate has completely come back. And I've been like a little chocolate pig, like just wanting to eat all the chocolate in the world. In terms of weird cravings, I have an absolute obsession, a complete obsession with sponges. Yep, you heard it, sponges. Um, squeezing soap and bubbles out of sponges in the bath or the shower, I can't explain what that feeling is like and how that basically turns me on. Okay, it doesn't turn me on, but it, it makes me feel a type of way. Um, I could just sit squeezing like fresh shower gel out of a clean sponge. I want to live in the shower and the bath. All those like clean, soapy, bubbly scents and like the sensation of like warm, bubbly, soapy water on my skin. That clean feeling with like a sponge. Oh, honestly, like I hope it stays. I hope this feeling never goes away because I have never been cleaner. Well, I say this coming to you with absolutely greasy <laughs> <laughs> like my hair looks like it's got butter rubbed into it but my body has never been cleaner because i live in that shower and bath i'm scared to look at our water bill for this month because it's it's going to be ridiculous like that i just i'm constantly wanting to be in like clean water that's been my biggest craving i would say i've spoken about this on my instagram as well but the smell of chlorine is it's the better than any perfume i've ever smelt right now and i keep taking myself to um our gym just to go swimming just so that i can smell the chlorine and, and again be in that like clean water which is so ironic because even though it's chlor chlorinated the water at a swimming pool is not clean like kids pee and basically poo in that pool i would know from being a lifeguard i've watched it happen multiple times how do you find doing everyday tasks with a big bump um i should probably show you my bump actually a lot of bump questions someone also asked a funny question about is your bump they were like i've always wanted to well, let me see i've screenshotted it they said this might sound weird but is your tummy squishy or hard when pregnant? It's not a weird question because things like that I always wanted to know about pregnant women um, before I was pregnant. But this is, wow, <laughs> now you can see that bit. Like, you can kind of see how big my bump is. Um, she's definitely gone a lot more round. Um, but yeah, this is my bump. Just so you can see she's grown a lot. In terms of is the bump squishy or hard, I mean, it's a combination. Like the whole, the bump as a whole, I'd say, is a very hard formed structure, but there's also still squishiness there, um, especially at the top for me. One thing I've noticed as well though, is that when I touch my bump, um, I don't know if that, I used to think that meant that you were dehydrated. If like when you press your skin and the color doesn't bounce back straight away, that used to mean that you're dehydrated, but I don't think I'm dehydrated, so I'm not really sure what that means but yeah when i press onto my bump the color does not bounce back to my skin very quickly at all so if anyone knows why that is then please do comment down below whilst i'm here as well i may as well show you my little i don't know if you're gonna be able to see that but my little stretch marks because i've been asked a lot about stretch mark creams and stuff which i'll get into um but yeah just so you guys can see my little tiger stripes that have been forming, um, but we'll get onto that. That's one thing as well that I didn't expect through pregnancy, like how normal it feels to have such a big belly and have like a big 
bump. It does sometimes just feel like I've eaten too much at Toby Carvery, like I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a woman that loves my food, so I have felt the sensation many a time of where my stomach has actually felt this big before being pregnant because I've eaten too much dinner. I feel like having a big belly has felt very fine to me and it's not really got in the way whilst doing day-to-day -day things. The one thing I have definitely struggled with is dressing for my bump. Um, I... I would probably say I'm a little bit disappointed with myself in terms of like, it sounds ridiculous, but obviously it is my full-time job. I am a little bit disappointed in the amount of pictures and like outfit pics and like Instagram content I've got whilst I've been pregnant because I would have loved to have smashed it out a little bit more in terms of like brought you guys all that pregnancy outfit inspo and I feel like I've really not done that. If you guys follow me on Instagram and you know the way I dress, I don't really wear tight clothing like i live in track suits so i haven't really worn anything for my pregnancy that's really shown off my bump or shown off my new body or anything obviously all the symptoms that basically being full term comes with they are the things that i've struggled with so not the bump but obviously the the out of breathness and the tiredness that i felt through definitely the last two weeks of my third trimester have like it's <sighs> The fact that I'm sat on the sofa right now, but I'm just talking to you guys and I feel out of breath, like whilst doing that, that's new. Um, I constantly feel out of breath, um, which I haven't the whole way through my pregnancy. I mean, I have felt a little bit out of breath, but yeah, through my third trimester, the out of breathness has been really intense. And also the tiredness. Oh, wow. The tiredness has been unbelievable. So through the, th the first part of my third trimester, the first few weeks, I <clears throat> didn't sleep at all i basically had pregnancy insomnia like it was so bad i would say probably every night i was getting for about three weeks straight every single night i probably had two three maybe four hours maximum sleep but yeah like two three hours a night i was having and i was constantly just lying in bed just wide awake staring at the ceiling like wondering why i couldn't sleep but i definitely think that was my body kind of preparing me for what was to come but then in a weird way i've now gone the complete opposite way and all my body wants to let me do is sleep and i actually got up today at half 11 like i feel like i've gone back to my 20 21 year old self again where that <laughs> sounds bad at 20 i was doing that I should be doing that at like 16 but yeah i mean i went for a really bad stage you guys remember when i lived in the city center where tommy and i would literally get up at basically two o'clock in the afternoon but we were doing like pas and things like that then but i feel like i've um gone back to my old self and i can't i can't get out of bed i am so so exhausted but you know what i'm kind of just going with it because at the end of the day in a couple of weeks time we're not going to be getting any sleep at all and there's going to be no lions and there's going to be no lions for the next probably like what 10 years of my life so I, I kind of like you know whilst I can have a lion I'm going to make the most of it these are my last couple of weeks I've been able to sleep when I want and for however long I want Tommy just messaged me saying is everything okay so we'll just take a little and send that to him okay next question I've come across which I'm going to answer best cream for stretch marks now, if you guys watch my vlogs, you'll know I feel quite passionately about, passionately, not passionately, <laughs> passionately about this topic. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I kind of had cockily, cockily, that's such a weird word. I'd, um, big headedly, I'd, what's the word though? When you sort of like, you're, you'd, um, what's the word? I guess I'll just say stupidly. I stupidly had kind of thought that I wasn't going to get stretch marks. I don't know why. I just... I've always been blessed with quite good skin on my body, apart from the fact that I do suffer with a bit of eczema. Um, but I had just kind of thought that I think I'll be okay with stretch marks. I might get a couple, but I won't get loads. And I was really wrong. I was really, really wrong. I have gotten a serious amount of stretch marks, um, mainly on my boobs. My boobs, like are unrecognizable i'll be completely honest from day one of my pregnancy to now these are not the same boobs i haven't also weirdly i haven't leaked a single bit of milk yet no one's actually asked me that i'm not seeing that question but i just thought i'd say i haven't leaked any milk i'm hoping that's normal and that my, i won't have any problems with like milk production and that my milk will still like come in and stuff but yeah i've had like no colostrum to harvest or syringe i've had no nothing come out of my boobs but yeah anyway 
stretch marks have been um, a whole journey for me through my pregnancy. Do you best believe I have used every single cream, oil, balm, anything you can think of for stretch marks, I've used it, I've tried it. And I'm gonna be honest, not a single thing has worked. I have bought really, really expensive products for stretch marks, which are meant to be like absolutely incredible from like really, really high-end brands. And I've also bought the stuff from the high street. I've bought bio oils. I've bought stuff from Palmer's. I've bought stuff from Garnier. I've bought stuff from La Mer. I've bought stuff from Augustinus Bader. Like I've literally gone through all the different brands and guess what? My body is still covered in stretch marks. So this is just me reiterating a message that I did say in a vlog a few weeks ago. Please do not worry about stretch marks. If you are getting stretch marks because you are pregnant or you're just getting stretch marks because maybe you've gained weight or your body is changing, your body is growing, you're going through puberty, your boobs are growing, your bum's growing, or your body is just getting bigger and you're getting stretch marks because of that. Please don't beat yourself up about it and think, oh, maybe I should be buying this cream, maybe I should be buying this oil because this will stop it. I'm gonna be honest, I personally think that nothing's gonna stop it. That's the conclusion I've come to through this pregnancy and something that I definitely learned. I really did think that using all these fancy creams and products were going to prevent the stretch marks. And if anyone wasn't gonna get stretch marks from using products through pregnancy, it would be me because I've oiled and moisturized twice a day, every single day, every single time I've got out of the shower and every single time I've got out of the bath, which is twice a day, I have oiled and moisturized. And like I say, I'm covered in stretch marks. So this is just a public service announcement to anyone going through what I'm going through right now. Don't beat yourself up about it. Don't worry about the products. Just let your body do what it needs to do. And I'm ready for the whole journey that I'm going to go on with trying to sort of um, not get rid of my stretch marks because I reckon they're probably never going to go, but trying to fade them a little bit and um, lighten them a little bit. And I will keep you guys completely updated on that journey once I've had baby girl and um, we go through the process of trying to get rid of them a little bit. The lighting, I'm so sorry. I'm one minute I'm bright orange, one minute I'm bright blue. Like, I don't know what's going on. So there's a lot of questions about how I'm feeling about labor. Am I nervous for labor? Am I nervous for labor? Guys, do you know what's absolutely obscene and insane? And I, I'm kind of scared that I feel this way. I do not feel one bit scared about labor. And I feel like that's, it's scaring me that I'm not scared. Because you guys know that like with needles, blood tests, all of that stuff, I have a massive phobia of it. I definitely think my phobia has lessened, lessened. You know sometimes when you say a word and it's literally the right word, but like, it sounds like something completely different when it comes out of your mouth. It's lessened. Yeah, you can say that, can't you? My phobia has lessened over the last few years because I've had a couple of operations. Like I had the lump in my um, left boob removed. I had a lump in my finger. If you guys can see a little scar there. I had a lump in my finger removed. Um, I had my laparoscopy for my endometriosis. So I've had a few scenarios over the last couple of years where I've had to have cannulas. I've had to have a lot of blood tests. And blood tests and cannulas were my two biggest phobias. And I feel like if I hadn't had those operations over the last couple of years and I was going into labor completely blind, um, I probably would be a little bit more terrified, but I feel really, really fine about labor. Something different as well is that I thought I would be really up for the idea of doing hypnobirthing and an amazing company called the Positive Birthing Company, they actually, um, I was DMing someone from there about a course and I did actually start a birthing course but I'm gonna be completely honest I think it's nothing to do with actual hypnobirthing that has maybe not want to do it it's actually just the fact that I am a really really terrible online learner I'm just a bad learner like honestly doing the like starting the course it reminded me of um school and like re re <coughs> right okay cool what I was trying to say was it reminded me of revising and it reminded me of how bad I was at revising and just schoolwork and just anything where it sounds terrible, but like learning new things, that's so bad, isn't it? That's actually terrible. I just found myself instantly sort of switching off. And then that made me think maybe I'm not really open to the idea of 
hypnobirthing or maybe I'm just being damn right lazy. I think, do you know, I think the latter option, maybe I'm just being completely lazy. I have got the course on my phone and I think I'm going to maybe over the next couple of nights, I will just maybe sit and try and like watch some of the videos and kind of go through it a little bit and learn some of the breathing techniques because it's probably going to be something that I really do regret when it, I come to labour and I have no idea what I'm doing. I have no idea what's going on, but I feel like the ignorance is kind of bliss for me at the minute and I'm really enjoying not thinking about it too much and not knowing too much about it. I've watched ridiculous amounts of birth vlogs. Um, who have I watched this week? I've watched CC Clark's birth vlog this week. I've watched Imaginations birth vlog this week. I've watched, like, I mean, I've watched all these birth vlogs before, but I'm like re-watching all my old favorite YouTubers. I'm just loving all the birth vlogs. They are really, really helping me. Um, just see like every different experience, like all different kinds of experiences that like different women have had. I feel really positive about it. I'm really excited. I have a feeling that it's going to go okay. And even if, you know, it worst case scenario, not even worst case scenario, because it's not even a bad scenario. Say I need to have a C-section. I'm really open to that idea as well. I'm absolutely going to try my hardest and my best to try and push baby girl out because like I've said in another video, if I do that, best believe you'll probably want to unsubscribe. So I'm never going to stop going on about it. Like that would be the biggest achievement of my whole entire life if I actually managed to push her out of my vagina. But if it doesn't happen, I'll also go on about the fact that I've had a C-section forever because it's still a big achievement. Growing a child is an achievement. And however she comes out, because she's got to come out, however she comes out, I will be happy with. As long as she's here, safe, safe, what the hell? Safe and healthy and happy. Um, and Tommy and I will be in hospital with her in our arms. That's, um, that's the most important thing to me. So yeah, no, I'm not nervous about labor, weirdly. I think I probably should be but I'm not. Have you had the leg cramps yet? Boy, oh boy, can I answer this question, guys. I can't, I literally can't explain how badly I've been getting cramp in my calves. I got cramp so bad the other night in bed that I am still limping now because of the pain that it put me in. My calf, three days later from having like a cramp attack in bed, I, I, I physically can't walk on my leg properly. Like I was walking through Trafford Centre yesterday and I literally had like a pirate limp where like I was walking like literally like my, my leg was fully broken. So yeah, the cramps, I never knew that was a pregnancy symptom. I had no idea about it. But yes, I can confirm that the cramp I've experienced has been like no pain I have ever, ever ever experienced and also the scariest part about it is that it can happen at like three in the morning like the other night when it happened it was like four in the morning and i literally i wouldn't i don't wake tommy up for anything like i've been like really unwell in the night before and like or i just i just i never wake him up because i always feel so bad but the minute this cramp set in my leg i literally launched onto tommy the poor boy had a literal heart attack i was like babe babe like shaking him. i was like my, my leg my leg and he was like it's all right it's all right like he was so startled i think he must have thought i was going into labor but the pain was that horrendous that i i couldn't like not like just hold on to him and like scream and i was like ah. it lasted for probably like two minutes i've i've never experienced anything like it um, it's not like a normal cramp at all. Nothing like a normal cramp. It's something you would do differently next time you're pregnant. That's a really, really good question. Um, <sighs> something I'd do differently. It sounds terrible, and probably not everyone will, will agree with this, but I think if I am lucky enough to have another baby in the future, um, when I find out I'm pregnant, I won't, sounds really bad because obviously you should be so excited and you should be like over the moon and be so looking forward to it and stuff. But I would definitely say pregnancy has really dragged because of how much I've thought about it every single day from day one of finding out. So from like literally two weeks of being pregnant up until now, like basically the very end of my pregnancy, it does consume you and it's all you really think about. Well, it is and it isn't. Like, I've still completely cracked on with normal life, but it's definitely, like, it's constantly on your mind. And I feel like I would definitely try and get through at least, at least the first 12... <laughs> I was going to say, like... I don't know. I just would try and get through a lot of it with, like, try not to think about it too much because I think when you think about it too much and you let it consume you and it's all you really 
think about and look forward to like you, you kind of are just like literally sitting around for nine months like waiting for the end of it i don't know if that sounds a bit negative and sad and like obviously anyone that finds out that they're pregnant should be so 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 excited and it's literally incredible but i definitely would try and like say to myself right let's just like you're at the very very early stages like it's going to be a long old a long old nine months um because it has been a long nine months yes it's gone very quickly and I don't know, like it's not, I say that because I feel like that's just like the general thing, oh it goes so quick, it does go quick but it also drags, it drags a little bit, like nine months is a very, very long time, it's basically a, a year and a year is a, like it feels like a long time, I don't know, every single day has kind of felt like a week, every single week has felt like a month and every month has felt like a year that's kind of just the way it has been because it's all you think about especially with your first baby when you've never been pregnant before everything is so new and everything is so exciting and you just can't really believe still that you're pregnant so i would definitely just try to like stay calm about it like take it in my stride probably not really tell anybody at the start i didn't with this one anyway but like probably just really try and like get through life as best i can without letting it consume me too much because it really has slowed down the whole journey by doing that. Another thing that I would do differently is I would take more pictures, I would take more videos, I will not necessarily document more in terms of like make more YouTube videos because I'm actually really happy with the amount of content I've put out whilst being pregnant on YouTube but I don't really have that many pictures of like I've not taken bump updates every single week, I wish I'd done that. Um, or like every st like different stage I wish I'd taken bump updates I've not really done that because I've never really felt that confident about my bump I do now weirdly now it's like at its biggest I feel more confident about it I've got a literal foot sticking out the side of my stomach right now that's been um, a new thing um I definitely feel the movements are so much like they're so different now um they're not like little sharp stabby kicks they're more just like her whole body will actually just be like in the kitchen whilst i'm in the bathroom like <laughs> like shape shifting through my stomach it's a very very weird sensation i'm wondering if i if i set up would i be able to like maybe try and show you like her body parts coming in and out but still with my anterior placenta the movements haven't been that's been one thing i found really hard actually through my whole pregnancy um, not feeling her that much. Like, I do now, because uh, she's literally huge. <laughs> she's like a full, she's like a six pound baby in there. Um, but yeah, having an anterior placenta has been like something that I've really struggled with. But through my third trimester, that's gotten easier because um, the baby gets so big that obviously you, you, it's inevitable that you will feel them. Um, but I definitely, definitely have not felt her anywhere near as much as I think most women would feel their baby through their pregnancy, which is not something that I expected at all. Guys, I'm gonna be a mum in just a couple of weeks. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Like, I still can't believe it. I still, I've mentioned this in another vlog, I still feel like someone's gonna be like, haha, prank, like, you've just had a big dinner. Like, you're not really pregnant at all. <laughs> like, because I just don't believe that we're gonna have a baby in a couple of weeks. That's one last thing I will quickly say, just very, very, very quickly, quickly. What did someone say to me that I wanted to... Something that surprised you about being pregnant. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what surprised me, is how like incredible the female body is. And we are like built to do this. And I mean, like I say, I know I say this every single time, like it's not the same for every woman. And it breaks my heart that some women have really they've struggled massively with pregnancy and it can be a really really hard journey for some people but i'll tell you what surprised me for me and my journey personally is just how amazing it's been and i don't want to say easy because i don't want to sound big-headed and ignorant and like i'm rubbing it in but for me it has been the smoothest easiest i don't want to say it because it's not easy but it, I'm sorry, for me, it has been. That's just my truthful, honest opinion. My pregnancy, for me, it has been easy. And I know I'm so, so, so blessed to be saying that. Um, I know that's rare. It, some, yeah, it is rare. But, like, my pregnancy has just been a dream. And that surprised me because I feel like 
all you hear when you tell people that you're pregnant and when you find out you're pregnant is, oh, you wait for the next nine months, oh, you're in for, oh, that you've got this to come, this is gonna, you're gonna be so sick, you wait, oh, the sickness comes at six weeks, I kept waiting, that six week mark came and I'm like, when's it gonna come? When's... And for some people, it doesn't. I just want to give out this message that don't necessarily expect the worst, don't listen to all the negative comments that people make when you find out you're pregnant or like I, I just remember so many people saying to me like oh you know this is gonna happen the sickness is gonna come the sickness is gonna hit you're gonna feel so tired you're gonna feel this and, and for me it never did it never did the biggest thing that surprised me is how amazing pregnancy has been and how much I'd do it again in a heartbeat and will I miss being pregnant because that got asked a lot as well sorry there's so many things I want to say will I miss being pregnant um probably yeah I probably will I think I'll really miss the feeling of having a little person inside me that survives off me and it, it sounds so cringy but like this sounds really really cringy and I will literally end on this when you're pregnant oh my god this is gonna sound so cringy but when you're pregnant you never feel lonely like you literally never feel alone like why am I getting choked up saying that what the hell you never feel what the, what the hell you never feel lonely like you're always with someone and that is like such a special feeling like when I'm at the house by myself or like when I'm here um and I'm home alone or whatever or Tommy's nipped out or I, I never ever feel lonely or by myself because you're not you've got a little person inside you and like you're constantly in the company of someone else and you you do kind of always feel like you're not by yourself even when you are by yourself, but you're not because you're with your little baby that's in your stomach. And it's kind of like a constant little company there for you, which is such a special, special thing. Um, but yeah, don't know why I needed to get a little bit emotional at the end. Honestly, a tear nearly trickled. A tear nearly trickled. Apologies that I also can't get Tommy here at the end of this video just to give his little opinion on the third trimester because I feel like he's not really been in many of my videos recently, but he's out working all day. He's on a job today filming some stuff. Um, but maybe in my hospital bag, bag video, which I promise is going to be coming soon. I'm going to try and film it in the next couple of days. I'll get him to nip in and share his thoughts and the thoughts his thoughts and feelings about everything but guys if you made it to the end of this video then you really are a trooper because i have a feeling it's gonna be quite a long one i really really hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you all in my next video which will probably be my hospital bag video i love you all millions and i'll see you guys very soon bye